Mount Crenel is a forbidding and rocky place with many steep cliffs. It lies just west of Hyrule Town. We ought to equip ourselves in town before risking the journey. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm going to be exploring Hyrule Town for the most part. And starting with the right side actually, because I would like to get the thing that I need in order to carry some more stuff that I'm not going to spoil. Well, actually, I could spoil it because I'm right here. This is Stockwell Shop, and the reason why I was grinding rupees is because I want to buy something here. Please, feel free to browse, but not to carouse. Woohoo! Yeah, I had to make that reference. <laughs> Over here is a wallet upgrade, and with this, I can buy it for just 80 rupees, and I will be able to hold many more rupees. Woo! I think... Think I'm able to carry up to 200 rupees now. Wait, what? I can't check my wallet size. And the one I didn't know offhand how much each wallet was. <laughs> so anyway, you can buy stuff just by picking it up and then bringing it to the front counter. You can buy some mysterious shells if you'd like, but I'm gonna get plenty of them along the way as I go. Let's talk to the cat. And I just realized, since I'm going to be talking to a lot of people, I should switch my bombs away from the A button because I'm bound to mess up and drop a bomb and... Yeah, not, not the F bomb, but I mean just waste bombs. Over here is a nice little mini game that you can do to grind for rupees very, very quickly. Catch two Kuko with, within 25 seconds. Let's go, 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 go. But in order to get the most out of this, you have to get the Kuko that is golden and be sure to throw the cuckoo forward because it tends to fly out of your hands well just the golden ones do not the regular white ones um you tend to get, i think you get 70 rupees for the golden cuckoo and then you get 10 rupees for every extra cuckoo you bring that she didn't request you to do oh oh did i get it in time i don't think so <laughs> uh, oh and you also get 10 mysterious shells i forgot about that and there's a 70 rupee. Wait, maybe, maybe you just get a varied amount of... I'm, I'm, maybe I don't understand this minigame as well as I thought it did. But anyway, I don't have enough kin... I mean, I don't have any kinstones to fuse. So I'm not going to be doing any kinstone fusions in this part. Because as you've seen, she wanted to fuse some kinstones. But yeah, this... Anyway, this minigame, as you can tell, is a gold mine for farming rupees. So... Always, always go here if you need the, uh, the rupees. I think you can do this as many times as you want, though the game gets a bit harder uh, each time. Although, I, I don't think there's an end to this minigame. I've tried it a bunch of times before, and I, I don't recall coming to an end of it, unless it's, I just did it so long ago that I forgot that there is an end to it or something. But anyway, this is, it, it is a great rupee grinding spot. And I guess mysterious shells as well. Ooh, there we go. You know, let's explore some more houses. Oh wait, I should talk to ghostly man here. Buggity buggity boo! Did I scare you? Not really. No, you're pretty friendly looking, actually. <laughs> no, no. I want to talk to the cat, and not blow it away. No, no. Oh, hello. My brother's at school, and a plane is flying overhead our house. It's very loud. It sounds like thunder. <laughs> Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. What? I... I didn't come here for your sister. Oof! I didn't even say anything. I, I'm the voiceless hero. That's that's how the Zelda games work. Uh, I'll chat with... No! I'm really glad I switched from bombs to the gust jar. <laughs> I did see the tournament. Well, okay, I didn't. <laughs> but I seen the winner of the tournament. I got my butt kicked by him. Uh, down here is something that you can get later, but I can't now because, as you can tell, there's water in my way. Well, deep water. I really want to play a game. This place isn't open yet. Aww. Oh, postman! I am the postman, crossing town at incredible speed to bring you your mail! And he is a very fast postman. But if you follow him, he just seems to go in circles, so I don't really think he's as productive as he thinks he is. Uh, over here is a hotel, and they're not open yet either, so you know, I'm going to explore the uh, central area here. What do you have to say about that dirty stall over there? 
What if I were to, say, clean it up? Woohoo! Oh, sure, you're gonna change the subject. That's very nice of you. Ah. <laughs> Uh, now there's gonna be a play uh, a person selling stuff here once I go indoors and go back out And no one is ever selling me fruit and we're we are going to meet Eenie and Meenie a little bit later on uh, But for now, I'm just gonna do some town exploration for the most part uh, Oh, yeah, this is partly why I wanted to grind for some rupees is over here. I'd like to show you this bakery <clears throat> Must make deliciousness he's eating some dough here and <sighs> Mmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? Ah, uh, sure, what the heck. Hey, you have free samples? Welcome! Please bring whatever you'd like to buy up to the register. Uh, each one of these has different prices. I think this one's the most pricey, and this one's the least pricey, and it goes this to this, you know, in sequential order. And it seems like the more expensive of a thing you buy, the better of a chance you have a prize. Uh... Let's see if I get something out of the cheap old prize. Yes! I got a kinstone piece! Woo! And yeah, you, this is a way to get kinstone pieces via luck if you would like to. And she looks like Cooking Mama. <laughs> I know, I, I mean, I think this game came before the Cooking Mama series, but she really, really looks like Cooking Mama. Anyway, let's move on here and chat it up with some more people. Da -da. Oh yeah, I already spoke with you before, my mistake. And, well, you gotta look for them. Even if you have to shrink down in size to find them. <laughs> uh, over here is a, a shoe shop. And this guy right here, he's kind of... Kind of drowsy. What is that? Oh, welcome. Welcome to Rem Shoe Shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. Let's watch. Oh, 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 he's going over, oh, 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 he's sleeping, and what the heck, what just happened there, oh, wait, what is this, could this be a portal to the Minish world, why, yes it is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so high-pitched, that's right, even some human objects are portals to the Minish world, those minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. I just want to show you something over here before it uh, moves out of the way, so to speak. These shoes are in your way right now, but we'll be able to do something there a little bit later. I just wanted to show you those shoes uh, because I won't be able to later. I know it's, it seems like a really minor thing to show, but I like showing off the little details like that sometimes. And, oh, didn't want to go back in. Uh, this is not open yet. Uh, this place, out of my way, this place is also not open, at least it's it's shut, and oh, there's no one at the stall just yet, well, there will be someone later, I assure you, uh, maybe, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this place last, so I'm just gonna ignore that place for now, I'm gonna go inside the cafe and chat with people, cheers, yay, cheers, raise your milk for a toast, I wonder what I should have for dinner, are you getting drunk off of milk, how is that even possible? Let me tell you something that might come in handy someday. You can move bookcases and stuff. Try to push and pull different things. After all, you're young. You should be trying all kinds of new things. Ha! Does she really have to tell people that they can move furniture? And here, here we have a beauty from the Pokemon series. We hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. I will. Oh, jeez, I would have wasted another bomb. Oh, I would have wasted another bomb. <laughs> I am a laid-back, easy-going kind of guy, not a care in the world. And that's just the way I like it. You were expecting me to sing a song, weren't you? Anyway, the hurdy-gurdy man now went over here, and you can also fuse... I mean, you can fuse another kinstone with him if you have the kinstone that he's looking for, but I'm not going to focus on kinstones right now. I'm just focusing more on the uh, exploration and collecting aspect that you can do in the town at this point in time to give you a feel of what the town is like and whatnot. Um, in the back of this mysteriously locked building, you can see that there's a heart piece out of grasp, as well as a phonograph and some treasure chests. We will not be in this, we will not be able to get that for a very, very, very long time. I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. And, oh yeah, I already talked to you, didn't I? 
So yeah, don't even bother with that right now, and I want to talk to you. <laughs> Not to use the gust jar. There is an old legend that something big will happen when Hyrule's bell rings. Remember that. Uh, over here is the mayor's house. I'll talk to you first. Yeah, I thought you had something to say about the mayor. And let's go inside. That mustache guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Hmm. Let's chat with the mayor. <clears throat> I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them, and they're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. You can't really do anything here right now. But you can do something out here in his cellar slash dungeon, as indicated by those bars over there. I think this is more like a sewer, in all honesty. Inside here is a kinstone piece. And uh, the red and the blue kinds of kinstone pieces are a little bit rarer than the green kinstone pieces, but more people want green kinstone pieces, and more often than not, I'm short on green kinstone pieces. <laughs> so, I would really hope to get more green kinstone pieces early on, if at all possible, via drops or something like that. And here's a really ornery looking teacher. Well, if it isn't Link, it is good to see you again. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Oh, fine, fine. Be that way. And over here is a kid. Aw, looks like they're having fun there. I wish I could play with them. Why are you not in school? Why? Oh, whatever. Sorry, but I can't let you pass. There are monsters out there. And you've seen the postman just going around in circles again. Um, did I show the hotel? Well, the hotel isn't open right now, so I guess I can't really show you that, but I can show you, <clears throat> show you the dialogue of the closed hotel. Um, this is blocked off too, right? Yep. Over here is the library, which is also not open. Uh, but we'll be able to do some stuff there a little bit later. Um, oh, post, post office. I can show you stamping post office guy. Stamp, stamp, right to left. Yeah, he's really into his job there, and this would probably make a very good gif. <laughs> Alright, I am going to explore these last couple of things and then talk to that guard up there. The Swift Blade School in the south end of town is really awesome. The teacher, Swift Blade, has an amazingly direct teaching style. I wish I could train there. Perhaps I will shortly. Now, this guy here, I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Uh, I don't know. Like, guess so. It is a bit different than the people around here. But anyway, I want to talk to this guard here. Just because you have a sh sword and a shield doesn't mean you're sa you'll are safe. you be safe. I can't let you go out there alone, not until you know some sword techniques. So if you look on your map, um, that is indeed the... the well, actually, you can't really tell from here. But we need to go through there in order to get up there. So we need to learn a new sword technique in order to get past that guy. So, the house that I haven't explored just yet, I'm going to do so now, and it's got a little chickadee on the roof. I love this guy. I am Swiftblade, the finest swordsman in all of Hyrule! If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically! So, would you like to train here? Please! We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you. The spin attack! First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. And you are not an idiotic YouTuber, YouTube commenter with the first, second, and third thing. Ah, stop imitating them. No, don't. Bad. No. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Alright. Ha ah, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That is why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. Wait, what? <laughs> I call this the swift blade possession technique of draining. Watch this. Mm. Pull. 
Zen Shun. Oh, wait, that was Z. Z Shun. My body's moving on its own. Wait, that kind of worked. Whew. Now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Build up enough power. Then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. So, hold that button. When it flashes like that, release it. Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this teaching, <laughs> I was gonna say teaching, this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You review it any time from the quest status screen. Woo! I learned the spin attack fighting technique. Yeah. And if you go up to him and talk to him again, there are no more techniques I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword in hand. So he's hinting that you can get a new sword later on. Uh, over here is, are the Tiger Scrolls if you would like to review them. I really don't think you're going to have to review the spin attack because you're going to be doing it a lot. And I recommend you do it a lot because it is a very good technique, especially when you're surrounded by enemies. Alright, and now I realize that I forgot... Well, I shouldn't say now I realize. I, I noticed it after I edited the last parts that I forgot a heart piece. A really obvious heart piece, actually. Um, back at Minish Village. Uh, through here, I'm just gonna backtrack and hop down here. By the way, if I see... Yeah, there's, there's spiny beetles here, right? Yeah, these are called spiny beetles. I forgot to, to uh, tell you guys the name of them. They just hide underneath stuff. They sometimes hide under rocks, too. So, beware of their stealthy invasion and attacks, I suppose. Uh, I'm just going to go around and show you where the spot is, and for some reason my R button was failing me there. Mm -hmm. Through... well not here. You want to go... around... this house. See, I, I could even see in the recording that, uh, that I showed this this wood here, this wood planks, I mean these wood planks here, and I, I didn't cross them, and there's a heart piece here. I really wish I, I, I wish I would have showed you that earlier, because you could have had a um, extra heart container before facing the first boss of the game, but alas, I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But that first boss isn't all that hard anyway. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I am already back in Hyrule Town. <laughs>